This video was supposed to be about me bringing my drip irrigation system out of winter, ready for spraying. Total blowout. I had to go get a four-way valve. I basically watered the back lawn by hand and I thought, well, if I'm going to do that, here's an intro video to all my little bits and pieces. I've included photographs of what the plants should look like, did look like last year, and, and so I hope they do again this year. And I will finish the drip irrigation video today or tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Bye. Another day in the life of plants. I'm gonna have to water annually. It's okay. I don't have another four-way right now. That's two four-ways that aren't working. Summers are hard here. We go through a lot of hoses, a lot of outlets, a lot of, yeah, a lot of people do. Everybody that's, you know, in the cold weather, hot weather. I have these expandable hoses. They're a little hard to work with and I have to go through a lot of it. It's overcast today and it seems like they don't need water, but things do. The, the wind is drying things out. As I mentioned, this is the raised bed that my friend is calling Ben made for me and looking out so far. It's got fabric inside. I put fabric inside. I've got radishes. They're all red. That are growing some beets in between the pansies. The pansies will die by summer. I think I kept them consistently moist. We'll see. If not, I'll plant something else. These two, those are older carrots, and I see a few new ones coming. Just planted these and make sure they have enough. I love osteopermum or African daisies, I just love them. You see it got dry and it's pulling away from the side. It's only been a couple days since I watered. But this wind drying everything out. This is how we water the patio picker. You put the water in here until it starts to come out the bottom and you will see down there went out of focus water coming out you know it's full it says every day in the beginning maybe every couple days we'll see how it goes that is still can't remember whether it's a jasmine or the clematis but this is my dear hearts i am trying not to overwater these i'm really panicked at this point now that it's blooming. Well, I'm trying not to underwater. I do have a water feeder I took the other day and I'm gonna take this off. As you see, I don't need a tree down there. I don't really need a tree right here either. So I just took that over there, our branch. I'll take that one. Oh, so many containers, guys. It's Totally disorganized. Not sure what's growing here, but I like to keep watering it. Something's alive and it's not a weed. It's enough for today on that one. I'm gonna water some of my ground cover. That one, which is sedum. This is a Greg's mist down there. It's spreading. It'll be one of those weird um, things that spreads by rhizome. Is that the right one? Cherry tree, trying to bloom. Don't know if it's gonna put anything up this year. I know it'll do blooms. Look at this little guy's trying so hard. My newly planted rose, not dead. Little sedum there doesn't really need water, but I do it anyway. This one really looks dead. I could check it, but denial, you know, <laughs> I'm in denial. Do you ever notice that your plants have different needs? I have two bamboo, same size, and two different containers, same size, same dirt. One dries out, the other one doesn't. Gotta know their idiosyncrasies, huh? I planted some sedum to make it look cute. 
And I've been trimming them up because I'm kind of thinking I want to go tree. This Botania got, both Botanias got so many aphids last year. I was so upset to see them. They didn't really do a, a ton of damage, but twice they were ladybugs. I know that's weird, beastie ordering little buggies. Had to put them in the fridge so they would calm down, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. And they stayed the night and took off. And I had so many aphids for them. I just can't, you know, make them stay. We do look like we're going to get rain, but ground cover. This is Coryopsis, Crepe Myrtle, in bloom. This is one I want to get into a bigger container, I believe. That is the apple ice plant down at the bottom. Okay. Grew all over here, all up on the wall. You can see some of them back there. Oh yeah, he took off. This is Artemisia. Yes, don't water it too much. Okay. My friend and I built this. I painted the, spray painted the bricks copper, Arizona and I. And I liked it. We have a, we actually made a bench. I made a bench. I had the wood and we put the wood in there and I think I still will again. I really like the bench concept. I like having a bench there. Just like that one. All right, potatoes. Let's be watering them. You know, in the grow bags, you have to water more. If you're like me, you play all kinds of head games with watering. You will, I will, I'll water. And then I'll be, I'll run back and I'll water again, make sure it's all got in there. <laughs> like that. Oh, does that need more water? Maybe. Not sure you can really overwater with the grow bags. Because that water is going to disappear and what can so in. Really, really want to get irrigated on that. So this is like watching paint dry, huh? I want to see the aphids. One thing I was trying to do was kill the ants or at least block them from climbing up. I think you know that in many cases, the ants carry them. And you know why, right? Something about the honeydew, it's not honeydew like the melon, but a honeydew that they put out, the aphids, a sweet liquid or a gel or whatever. Oh, look at that sedum, that's so cute. I'm probably watering it more than it needs to be. All right, let me water the bed, see what's growing in there. I had a lot of tomato plants, uh, volunteer tomato plants from the year before. I'm kind of interested to see how those go. I let a couple of them grow, but I had a lot. Wanting my day lilies to do well. As you know, these are the ones I had in containers and divided. And now I'm just gonna dedicate this little plot of soil to flowers this year. No veggies allowed except for under the two arms of the trellis or the arbor, cattle panel. One's for a sugar baby watermelon, the other one's for a honeydew melon. There's a random carrot or two in there. Left over. Fun to watch. This is my tiny raspberry coming back in a container. He actually did get into the bricks and root, took him back out. Little container I did up with some pretties that I enjoyed. My first time going stock, my first time going lavender. This guy's in leaf. I'm happy. I'll mention again this is the crepe myrtle that I ordered online and it came to me in a box. I had never ordered a plant online. It's very cool. That is a hibiscus or calabacoa. You can see how it comes back. Berries. 
and some volunteer Johnny Jump Ups or Violas. Kind of taking over the pot. I don't think they'll do too much damage. Give this a little, little something, something. Whoopsies. Not that my gloves don't need a bath. They do. Hydrangeas. Things along this wall stay in shade here at the beginning and end of the year. And they don't get sun until they get tall, so it's kind of a bit of a dead zone, but I'm still, I still want to use it, so. This guy's behind the power curve. His brother's going faster, and that's okay. I have too many plants anyway. I'm not seeing any sign of life on this grape, which is a Cabernet. These are uh, Thompson seedless, green. Maybe, they're leaves anyway. This is a white climbing rose. Got the little stretched out skulls of the girl, kind of got it twisted out. Tangerine, cross vine. Plans to repot it. I haven't got around to it yet. Bug, bug thing. Citronella. They're cute and they smell good. I don't think they kept the bugs at bay at all. Carrying on, I wrestled the hose. I'm gonna leave the sedum alone for now. It gets enough warm. This is a pasta. The other tangerine cross vine. Potted should go in. No. These little guys. I checked, I bought these in November. These overwintered. Man, they're heavy. Name that I can't pronounce. Things that I want to replant. Maybe out front. Then I thought I wanted to do this one out front. And these are Lantana, and they'll be just fine wherever they are. That it'll look like they're dead in the winter. Then they come back. This is a Eucara. Can't remember what it's called. It has something to do with chartreuse, though, for sure. He got moved. He needs to go closer to the shade. Lantana. Let's we'll see if they come back this year. Margarita Penstema. Didn't do well by him. Blanket flower that I planted from seed. Beautiful shrub roses. This is season three. They're a lovely pink and rose. A grouping of annuals. I have the tags. I want them to come back. To I have tags. Autumn sage and citronella. He is jasmine, okay. Just water in the violas. And there is a hibiscus in the middle. Crepe myrtle. He's not really showing signs of life, but I don't think he's dead. I guess he could be. Find that one. Certainly not pushing out like the other one did. Mmm. That's uh, distressing. Look at that. Let me water these little guys that I just kind of keep in here. I bought this a store bought um, Snapdragon. This is my first year having Snapdragons. My neighbor had them, so I popped it in. This is Pacopa Mix. I actually got these for out front to hang over a rock garden, but I changed my mind. But here they are. These guys have been here most of the winter. Chopped off the dirt on this pasta. One is called mouse ears. Again, these guys have been here all winter. Are they not cute? Honeysuckle. This is their third year in a container. Oh, goodness gracious. I think my man grew another six inches here. I had to cut him uh, last year. I had to make sure he wasn't going to the neighbor's yard. He wanted to, though. 
this uh, plant, these plants needed water every day last year. And they do have irrigation set up to them, but I don't have the timer on yet. So I try to give them plenty of water. This didn't work. This has not worked for anything. I tried it for strawberries. No, they don't. I tried it for succulents. They died and drowned. I threw in a couple of violas. Half of them died. I just don't feel like this thing works right, and I don't know why. That's a little hidden treasure in there. These were my attempt to do succulent bowls. They drowned last year in the rain. They just drowned. There's a couple survivors, but I won't be doing this again. But I love these bowls, and I need to do something else with them or get smaller succulents, but move them up under the awning so that they don't get as much water. There's a wild little succulent they got away there. Uh, see them? See them. I do not want to give up on these ceramic bowls. I think I'll just look at this guy. Put them up under. They also don't like that much sun. Put them up under the patio. I'm kind of getting too many things up in there though, right? It's getting hard to move around. I mean, what are these little geraniums I bought this year? I'm not ready to plant them up yet. I don't think this stuff needs water. I know the tomatoes do. Let's check. There's plenty of moisture in there. That's nice. Citrus do not like wet feet. I'm going to water these tomatoes. That is a cutting from the sun sugar. This is a cutting from the Cherokee purple that I grew last year. It takes a while to fill up the bottom. It's a three gallon reservoir. starting to come out here and that's it. That's all I need to do there. I'm gonna fight my way in here. Obviously there were just better things I could have done in here. Back to fighting my way in. Hooked. I am so ready to close this operation down, get stuff outside. Okay, let's water this guy right here. As you, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, he's dry-ish. I mean, there's some moisture, but oopsies. They're doing really well in these little pickers. He's pouring out right there, so that's a good thing. Let's see what that's his own. My hose is not stretching enough. If I pull it anymore, it's going to break. in here right now, which is good. It's a great temperature. He's hanging. They're not doing it. And it's not them. It's me. It's not you. It's me. I don't do well with hanging. So I'm hoping to just like repot all these guys. I have a brick down there that's actually molding. That's unattractive and worrisome. Would you like to smell my little and make sure I wasn't sniffing a bug. Yeah, I got a lot of leaf loss. And then new growth. Almost that suggests they haven't been getting enough food to start the year. I did give them a copper treatment. This is Oh, 
This has been the most successful strain. The one in the end is the lemon, the Meyer lemon, the one that's doing the worst. Again, they, they probably just got too hot. There were bugs in here. I did do, I did do a iron treatment. May or may not have helped. Did fertilize maybe too late. Okay. I believe everything is water. What do you think about that water, Michelle? Pitch the water by hand. It's just too much. There are people that enjoy water.